Hi, this is Steffi here from The Makers and today I'm going to show you how to use florist tape and wire, wrap the wire with florist tape and why would you do this? Because it makes the wool that you're gonna wrap around it stick really well. So um, this is part, on this occasion, this is part of a project um, that is the March Makers um, box, so our subscription box. So the hair has got um, wire inside his legs, four of them, but also inside the body. So it is posable. So you have the potential to bend it and it adds stability and it gives you an instant um, way to know the size and the, and the, and the uh, proportions. Now, it, uh, florist tape is a particular tape that is used often by florists, hence the name. And it's not everybody's cup of tea. And I know that uh, many people who have been needle felting with us have struggled to, um, to use it. So I'm going to give you a very, very good demonstration of it so that for once and for all, you will not worry about using florist tape. So here we go. We have got, um, I've got orange florist tape here. And um, you, um, I have also got some wire, um, some pliers, wire cutters and some green wire here. Now the green wire, um, this particular one, is a, a gauge 19 and it is um, already covered with paper but it's still quite slippy so if you if you wanted to wrap wool around this I'm just going to grab some random wool, well actually let's use some hair wool, um, then it, it you can get it to go on it but it can also just continuously slip 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 so if you're not particularly experienced in wrapping wool around wire you might find it um, definitely easier to cover the wire with florist tape and this goes especially if you've got a bare wire so this is at least has got sort of a little bit of resistance because it's got paper on it but if you've got a bare wire that's really slippy it's even going to be Worse. But what I'm going to do first is, because this is how the instructions are designed, sometimes you wrap the wire first with florist tape, but on this occasion you're actually going to bend it first into shape. So you're following this blue line and getting the wire to be in that um, shape as, 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 as close as you can possibly manage. Now it's quite a stiff wire so if you if you do need a little bit of help with somebody who might maybe has really strong fingers because you're having problems with um, with your fingers then then by all means um, ask somebody to just give you a hand with this. It doesn't mean to say that they've made the hair but um, we, we can all ask for a little bit of help when when need be. So the, the at the moment the wire pops open. It's too stiff to actually um, wrap it um, around um, the, 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 um, that shape here. You could put a little loop onto it if you wanted to, but you can also use the florist tape. So you can either just add um, a tiny loop, this is not written in the instructions, but bending it and then hooking it under, so just so that it uh, stays closed. Or you can also just make that connection with the florist tape in, in a minute and I'll show you that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to pinch this shut so that it's not sticking out. Um, so this is one way of doing it, but there are other ways of doing it too, where you just use the florist tape to hold this wire in place. And um, I'm actually going to use the reverse of this, the, the, you can just about see the hair template on the other side shining through. But um, so florist tape, let's talk about florist tape. So florist tape, um, you don't need to cut it. it when, you, when you peel it off gently and you feel it, it's not sticky. It really genuinely isn't sticky. So nobody will know what all this fuss is about because it's not sticking. But watch this. As soon as you pull it, that's when it makes it sticky. But it mainly sticks to itself. So if you now run your finger along it, it feels definitely stickier, but it becomes definitely sticky when you start wrapping it around itself. And um, so what you need to do is you, you can tease off, just tear off a manageable length and start at the end of one, at the end of the wire. And now you've got to, every time you pull, uh, every time you wrap, you've got to pull it a little bit, so that the, to, to, to get it established might take a little bit longer, but just get it established. And now when you go along the wire, 
every time you want it to um, to stick you just pull it a little so that it and always let it overlap by about half so that it will stick to itself if it tears off like I have just done just start again it doesn't really matter what it looks like the main thing to remember is that you wrap it under tension your fingers will become sticky I can just feel can you hear that sticky now and that um, that's a good sign that means that the tape is actually sort of opening up and releasing its stickiness and it only does this when you pull it and and stretch it ever so slightly but notice how I'm definitely overlapping the tape with every wrap that I'm doing and that's really important because that will make sure that the tape is now sticking to itself your fingers will feel when you finished with the tape it will feel like you want to wash them because they feel ever so slightly they feel a bit like like dirty you know a bit sticky dirty um, and that is literally just the um, adhesive from the florist tape right I'm just finished here now so make sure that when you start up with a new strand of um, the tape you go in the same direction again <clears throat> so I think I started that way um, so you don't want to unwrap the florist tape underneath it. Um, you can add several layers over the top as well if you want to. You don't really need to because it is already now. I'll show you in a minute how much more sticky it is when you, um, when you add the wool um, over the top. So now I'm coming up to this um, join here where, I, um, where if you haven't um, pinched this wire um, shut around the main wire then you can also you can also just tighten this really by wrapping the um, florist tape lots and lots of times around that um, wire that is touching the main wire here and um, and then you're going to continue and you're wrapping the wire with the florist tape even around this uh, loop so you may ask, why don't you wrap the florist tape around the wire first? The reason being is that this wire is quite strong and if you um, have to use the help um, of the pliers, you will tear the florist tape that you've wrapped. So it's actually, it, is, it looks a little bit more complicated to wrap the florist tape around the wire and it might take a little bit more patience. But it, it, at least it is a really neat wrap because you've got the, the wire already bent in the right position. And um, you get the gist that you will go all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way around it. And I, I do want to show you what, it, um, what a difference it has made now that the wire is wrapped around, has, has that florist tape wrapped around um, as to how the wool will stick to it. So you finish your whole loop off all the way, put another layer on it um, uh, uh, in, in, your, in the maker's box for March, which is the uh, Moon Gazing Hair 2023, you get a whole reel of this florist tape. So um, you don't have to be stingy, but let's check how the wool, my, my fingers are definitely sticky. I can feel them slightly sticky. Let's see what difference it has made. And look at this. The wool wants to grip into this. It's not slipping anymore. And that is why we use florist tape around the wire because it's magic in that it makes the wool um, stick to the florist tape nice and firmly. And that is just one way of how you can manage wool around wire when the wire is very slippy. I hope that has been of um, some help. Um, so don't don't be afraid of the florist tape. Florist tape is is a little bit. It feels a bit like masking tape, but it only it becomes sticky when you pull it. And can you can you hear the stickiness? That's what it does when you pull it. When you don't pull it, it's not sticky. It's smooth. Okay. When you do pull it, it becomes sticky. That's all you need to know. So overlap it so it can stick to itself. Right, that's it. So let's um, all have a go at florist tape and wire and um, let's see what amazing wire constructions you can create with wire, florist tape and wool. Go for it. Bye.